What's going on guys? Turner Alex coming at you with another MLB The Show 18 video. Today we're trying to get to 6 wins, reveal a diamond, 9 win reward for you guys. So if you enjoy the video, you enjoy VR, you want to see us get those diamonds, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, we're on the road to 17k, comment anything down below. Before we get into this first game, I just want to say Jake Lamb is my leadoff hitter and I've been struggling with him, man. I'm batting 333, but I don't think I even have a hit with him yet in this br so I, I was thinking about moving babe ruth up just because i've been hitting well with him in the br so far the first three games but i think we're gonna give jake lamb a chance to prove himself here in this video in these few games see what he can do leading off and try and get us to six wins we're playing the oklahoma heat away team our opponent has 79 griffey leading off followed by immortal pujols 88 dante bichette 81 austin jackson gliber torres 78 gordon beckham 79 ryan hannigan Jose Iglesias, 64, Andrew Miller on the mound. Not a good start for Jake Lamb. Hopefully, Lucas Sims is a lefty for Griffey. If not, it's not a huge deal, though. We're the away team looking for win number four, trying to stay undefeated. Yasmani Grandal, man. I don't know what it is about Yasmani cards. I absolutely love him. No doubt about it. Jake Lamb grounded into the ship. Yasmani hits a no-doubter, and we take an early one to nothing lead on that perfect contact. Yeah. That curveball, man, we had good release on it, but with the common starting pitcher, it's probably going to hang a bit. I forgot about that, and uh, Griffey's getting a leadoff base hit. He has Immortal Pujols followed by t at least two more righties, so Michael Givens coming in, trying to get us out of this inning. If we can get out of this inning, especially facing Albert, I think we pretty easily win this game. Obviously, though, I do not want to get too cocky. And Immortal Albert Pujols. Hits a dinger, and we're down 2-1. to one. Not really what I wanted to have happen right there. If we can at least tie the game, I think we win the game. And I just say that because, in, in no offense to my opponent, I'm, I'm not trying to be mean by saying this if you're watching. Even if you're not watching it, you guys, I'm not trying to be mean by saying this. My opponent doesn't seem like the best hitter uh to albert pujols they were swinging and chasing at at change ups and sliders and stuff the the thing was they were fouling him off so i'm like okay i'll throw a fastball we throw a fastball in the zone and it's an immortal if you make contact there's a good chance it's going to be a homer so if we can at least tie the game i think i can pitch well enough to not allow another run in this game but it's just going to be a matter of actually tying the game but he still has his common starting pitcher on the mound we definitely need to take advantage of that Gordon Beckham getting a base hit. I hung a slider over the part of the plate, man. This is why I lose Battle Royale games. You guys know if you've been watching a while, if you're new, I'll explain it to you. I suck at pitching. And uh, pitching, I mean, obviously, if you lose games, it's probably because of your pitching. I mean, hitting, I have one run. You know, I couldn't get a hit last inning, so maybe I suck at hitting too. But pitching is the main reason I lose games. Even when I know my opponent might not be the best hitter, I still give them so many pitches to hit. I hang pitches over the middle i give up home runs i give up hits and it's just something that i've always struggled with and i still do, I, I don't know how i haven't fixed it yet And we're down three to nothing, man. So you guys saw bases got loaded. Wagner struck a guy out, got this one to fly out. And now Pujols comes up three to one. I really need to not allow any more runs because now I need to score two. We're down to my final three ounce in this. Oh, no. Oh, man. See, I suck at pitching. We were, we're down to our final three ounce in this game. And uh, I really thought this was a 12 and 0 team, man. And it's it's a good enough team to do it. I just gotta I gotta tie the game at least. Hopefully take the lead, but I gotta start out by. Oh man, dudes, this is not good. There we go. Okay, so we're down four to one. I'm gonna show you guys this entire inning. We're gonna try to make a comeback. I gotta be patient. I gotta hit well. We got Babe Ruth, pinch hitter top of our lineup man this is going to be tough with a lefty on the mound a lot of my hitters being lefties but here we go comeback starts now i do not like that motion not at all oh man babe ruth starts the inning off 
Oh, man. I really thought that was going to be a base hit. Shoot, man. Down to my final two ounce. Dude, and you guys saw, like, and, and I seriously, I'm not trying to be mean. No offense to my opponent. But, like, you guys saw some of the stuff he swung at, and I still gave up that many hits, that many runs, man. Like, that's on me. That is my pitching, bros. I suck at pitching. I really need to work on it. Wilmer Defoe getting a base hit, though. That's huge. Now the tying run is in the on-deck circle. We have the top of our lineup. This is huge, you guys. We can still come back. It's not over yet. I do suck at pitching, though. That's not, that's not, that is a thing. Dude, that's the pitch. For some reason, Jake Lamb, I can't hit with him, though. Please throw it a second. Please throw it a second. Oh, man. Down to my final ounce. Yasmani Grandal, do something big, brother. Come on, man. Do something big, Yasmani. Yasmani Grandal gets a base hit. I'm just going to send him home. It's not that huge, but now we have an opportunity to tie the game. The tying run is in the box, man. This is why I, I didn't need... Oh, man, I suck at pitching. I, 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 I suck at pitching. I hate it. Not my pitch, man. 1-0 to Joey Votto. I'm power swinging. I have to. I need a dinger. 2-0 to Votto. Here we go, baby. Come on. Joey Votto. No, that's the ball game. Oh, man. I'm still going to try to get to six wins in this video. I'm still going to try to get to 12 wins with this team. But, dude, I can't believe I just lost that, man. I seriously can't. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry we lost the game. I got to work on my pitching. That's all I can say right now. Let's go ahead, bounce back, get these three wins, reveal a diamond for you guys. We are playing New York, the Aliens. Our opponent has 87 Russell Martin, 82 uh, Keith Hernandez, I believe, 91 David Wright, 84 D. Gordon, Jose Iglesias, Michael Conforto, Jose Martinez, 79 Ben Revere, Victor Alcantara on the mound. We got Yancy Almonte on the mound. Home team looking for win number four. And again, guys, I'm sorry we lost that game. I really... I felt like I should have won it. Obviously, we didn't. Our opponent was hitting the ball, but just, man, I'm disappointed in myself. D. Gordon getting a base hit. I felt like we jammed him a little bit with 95 speed, man. He's going to easily get a double on that one. That is a leadoff triple. Oh, man. Lead-off triple for D. Gordon. Not really what I was expecting. That's going to drive him in. Dang it, man. So, it's the second inning. I, I should mention that. It's the second inning. And uh, we're down one to nothing. We're down to our final six outs in this BR, man. After how the games went yesterday. And then after how... Like, the first inning started to go. I don't know, man. It's just... This is not where I was expecting to be yesterday after that. And then at the beginning of today, even right now, it's not where I feel like I should be. Um, this opponent is, is also kind of swinging at quite a bit of stuff like the game before. So I feel like I shouldn't be giving up base hits. The D. Gordon thing, in my opinion, it was questionable. questionable. It was a little bit jammed. He was late. He had okay contact. You know, maybe shouldn't have been a base hit. Not a huge deal, though. Um, we're only down one to nothing. But, like... Both of my opponents so far, I just feel like... I feel like I'm better. I, I've gotten a few of you guys. I think it's been like maybe... I think it's only been one comment. But like one time I said I felt like I was better than my opponent. And then my the, someone commented like, Obviously you weren't. You lost. Blah, blah, blah. And so I, I just... I feel like maybe I shouldn't say this. I feel like maybe it's bad to say. But I feel like I've been better than my first two opponents. And so far has resulted in a loss. And being five outs away from another loss. Even though I feel like I am the better player. Maybe that sounds crazy. Maybe it doesn't. But I don't know, man. It's just like my both of my opponents have been really... It's not that they're impatient. Because, I mean, I'm impatient too. So, I can't really use that to judge. Uh, I feel like that was good contact, by the way. Um, both of my opponents have been swinging at stuff out of the zone. So, maybe, maybe they're lack, maybe lacking discipline is the right way to describe it. Um, but, like, they're, they're way too early on stuff. Way too late on stuff. Swinging at things way inside, way outside. Um, way low, you know, it's just like, because of that, I feel like I, I'm a better player, maybe, maybe I'm not, obviously, if I've lost and I'm about to lose another game, um, but I don't know, I, I also feel like, and you guys, I, I've talked about this before, if I'm losing, I play worse, it, it's just, it's just, 
I, I, I for some reason can't stop thinking like that. You know, I, I, I start to get more impatient. Um, I, I start to make stupid pitch decisions, stuff like that. I, I just think I, it's not that I get angry, but I don't know. I don't know the best way to describe it. I just I, I guess maybe when I'm losing, I get into a bad mindset that affects my play style. I, I think a lot of you guys might be able to understand that. I feel like you guys maybe go through the same thing, especially when it's something like that D Gordon hit where you where you really feel like it shouldn't have been a base hit. Obviously, stuff like that happens in baseball. Um, but when when like that happens, and then you guys saw I hit some really good contact and maybe line out earlier. Um, and it's just like when stuff like that happens, you know, it, it, it's hard to stay composed. That's that's the best way for me to put it. It, it is hard to stay composed and still play well. We are down to our final three outs. I'm going to definitely show you guys the entire bottom of the third inning, inning just like last game. We did score uh, a run last game, and hopefully we can keep this lead of his at one because then if we score a run, we tie the game which I wish would have been the case last game because I really do feel like I would have won the game if I would have been able to at least tie it, and uh, we never were. For me, it more sucks because I want to play well for you guys. I, I really I, I don't like losing early on. I want to go for diamonds for you guys. So um, I do apologize that I haven't been playing super well in this video. I apologize that I'm losing. I apologize that I've lost a game. I'm sorry. I know you guys like to see wins. I think I care a little bit too much. Uh, and I know you guys are like, hey, it's not a huge deal. We just like watching your videos, which is true. Uh, you guys have been killing it with the support lately. But it's like, I, I still feel bad when I'm not able to do well. Look at that, man. Like why would I I mean I, I didn't really hang this I feel like I didn't hang it that's that's a decent pitch to a lefty um, But When I know my opponents chasing pitches why would I even throw something that could do that you know when I know they could I, Why did I not throw that pitch is what I'm trying to say uh, so the, the last game obviously I made bad pitches and then this game as well and I think for my next battle royale, that's going to be something that I really focus on is just not making bad pitches, regardless if, if I, regardless of opponent, I just, I can't be making pitches like that in general. Even that one I just threw right there is not a good pitch. And uh, I'm going to show you guys this entire inning. We're trying to come back. We're trying to get win number four and stay alive, man. We're fighting to stay alive. The comeback starts now. We're only down by two. That's a strike on the corner. Nice pitch. Really good pitch. Dang it, man. We just missed it. Just missed that one. Flying out. We're down to our final two ounces in this BR, bro. I'm disappointed in myself, you guys. I'm so sorry, man. I'm really disappointed in myself, dudes. That's a pretty good pitch. I wasn't ready for it, though, so I, I shouldn't have swung at it. Babe Ruth. Oh, man. I thought it was a dinger. A little bit under it, though. Down to my final out, man. Oh, Lord. Oh, my goodness. Um, Let's do Sean Rodriguez. Yeah, Sean Rodriguez is fine. That, that's, that's a good guy to bring in right here. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I just want to show you guys. We barely missed this one, too. I, I like showing you guys the contact, and we barely missed this one. If he brings in a new pitcher, yeah, he is. I don't think it will not show it. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so I felt... No, 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 no. Come on, man. And then he throws a pitch down the middle. Oh, Lord. So we're going to bring in Jason Chiambi, but he's down He's down already in the count, man. I was trying to pause it, but because I was doing the cam and everything and showing you guys, uh, my opponent was able to throw me a fastball down the middle. So four seam, two seam, change slider. That's the pitch. I got a homer on that, man. Down to my final strike in this BR. Here we go. Jason Giambi makes some good contact, but that is it for this team. Man. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and open the Battle Royale pack for you guys and obviously uh, just say a few things in between now and then. So number one, I'm disappointed, man. I felt like I was better than both my opponents. Um... First game, 
homer to Albert Pujols. I, I, I had already known my opponent was swinging at stuff or whatever out of the zone. I think I had two strikes on Pujols, and, uh, and I throw him a fastball instead of just throwing him the breaking ball that he hasn't been able to really hit. Uh, so that was a mistake, and then I obviously made a few more mistakes in that game. I think part of that was just being in that losing mindset. When, when I'm losing, I'm not as composed. I play worse. It's just... It's, it, 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 I don't know why, but it's it, it's it, it's it's pretty much always affected me in MLB. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I, I felt like I was better than mo both my opponents. You might disagree with me down in the comments. Feel free. Um, I, I would just appreciate it if you guys aren't rude about it. Like the one that I mentioned was, uh, and if you're watching this video, the person who did that, I'm not trying to call you out. I'm not showing your comments or anything. But it was just kind of they were kind of rude about it. And uh, so like if you're gonna say something like that, I would appreciate it if you're polite. Obviously, you don't have to be. I don't control what you do. Um, but I felt like I was better than both my opponents. I didn't even get a hit in that last game. Um, first inning, I, I was impatient. I, I, I swung away too many pitches. And maybe the rest of the game, I don't really remember now. Um, but it's just, I was losing. After that, D. Gordon, first of all, the jammed hit or whatever, the, the late okay, maybe wasn't jammed. But it still, I felt like it shouldn't have been a base hit based on the swing contact timing, pitch location, all that. Um, resulting in then a run. First of all, resulting in a hit and then resulting in a triple and then resulting in a run. And it's just like it, things were piling on top of each other and it's just it all added up. And it's just like it, it's back to that losing mindset, man. Um... So I apologize about that. Sorry if this video had any negativity. I try to keep negativity out of my videos. Um, it was kind of hard just losing two straight when I really felt like this could have been a 12-0 team even. Um, so I apologize about that. The schedule for the next few days, I'm going to be drafting a themed team tomorrow. And then the next day we play a ranked seasons game. And, uh, and then it's back to a normal battle royale. Trying to get 12 wins with that team. That's just kind of the schedule we're working with. We do a normal battle royale. We do a theme draft. We do a ranked seasons game. And then we're back to it. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. I'm sorry um, to let you guys down. Feel free in the comment section right now to say like, hey, man. We don't care if you win or lose. We just like watching your videos, if that really is true. Just because it'd be kind of nice to see that. Uh, just so I do know. And, and, and I, I can't realize that. I know some of you guys have said it before. Um, but I'm sorry to disappoint you guys. We're coming off a 12-win uh, a Battle Royale run. So, you know, we can't win 12 games in them all. Uh, we're playing well, though. Obviously, we're playing well. We just won 12 games. And I really need to work on my pitching so I can't let myself be losing. And then, oh, I, I can always get better at hitting, obviously. I didn't even have a hit that last game. Um, but, yeah, we just there's things we can improve on. And uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment anything down below. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.